here's the trick with super glue. Let's say you're super gluing something, right? You got your part and you put your glue on it like so. And then you put your two parts together, right? Well, if you want that to immediately harden and you don't have any adhesive hardener or anything like that, take a cigarette, right? Watch what happens when the smoke hits the glue. Look at that, boom. See that? See what it did to it? Watch. See? It hardened it immediately. See that? All right, so we removed the support bar, pulled all that out, and then I went ahead and removed the support, the rear bracket, because we have the upgraded aluminum one coming, so we might as well just go ahead and pull this out, and when the new aluminum arrives, we'll install it. Guys, look what just came in the mail. Look at this thing, man. Just the beauty in it. Man, they did an outstanding job machining this. Beautiful. Hotracing.com. Yeah, they did a good job. Gorgeous machinery. So, this is replacing this. This is the plastic piece. Now, you can see here that it bends. It, not very much, but there is a flex to it. And I don't want to break it because I feel like if I overbend it, I will break that. But, yeah, there's definitely a flex this thing no flex nothing no twisting no nothing i mean that's that's pretty darn strong i like it man it looks good with the black and then how it's kind of has like that machine silver outline to it that just looks beautiful love it and on best part is now we have a spare part so we will put this in the spare part bucket. That way we can have it. Let's take a look real quick. So you can kind of get the idea. How let's see how's it go? It'll go this way. So it'll be mounted like that. Hang on, it's kind of. So it'll be mounted like this. And y'all know darn well it's gonna look good with that carbon fiber sitting there. Oh yes, man! All of these upgrades these with the aluminum and the carbon and then all of this is going to be aluminum we got the front brace coming that's aluminum we got this part right here coming that's going to be aluminum i don't understand why they would make this aluminum and this plastic you know i guess to save cost but this part is your weak point so this needs to be aluminum that absolutely needs to be aluminum it has to be and then we were thinking about getting the upgrade parts these plastic parts in here for the steering we like to get those aluminum and then we're going to get this part right here aluminum basically i want to make it structural because we're going to give this thing hell and it needs to be able to take it also if i run two cells where's the other battery going to go this is what holds all of the batteries and I like the Velcro, that's cool. So, if this holds the batteries, like, see there's, it's really only meant for one, one battery to go in there. So how do I run two of them? Do I just, do I just stack two batteries on top of each other like this? Cause that's not very safe, is it? To run, I mean, maybe it is. I guess you could do that. But I don't know as far as strapping them down. I guess that's why it includes all this extra crap. And I guess that's a hook for your wire to get caught up on. So that way you can have a place to hook it. But yeah, how do two batteries fit in here? I don't understand how I can run two batteries with it. Unless like I need to buy an upgraded battery holder or something for the truck. Because either that or you get rid of the battery holder thing and you buy like a modified thing. But even then, the only way you could run two batteries is to stack them up. And if you run two batteries on one side, your truck is grossly 
unbalanced. Even with all of this, the ESC, the motor, and the ESC, even with the ESC, the servo, and the motor being on this side, this still is way heavier. These two batteries, it still outweighs these, these three components of the car. So the car is unbalanced as can be. So I don't know. So you, if you guys know, let me know below. Because I know I can't. I wouldn't be able to run it like that. That bar that runs there wouldn't allow it. I don't know. Let me know what I should do to run two batteries. Because the ESC is pigtailed to run two batteries. So there's got to be a way of doing it. I don't know. Let me know in the comments below, please. Appreciate y'all. Oh, man. So the car is still in parts and pieces. We are still waiting. We're getting rid of these. We're going to go no more. No more drop. No more. We're getting rid of these, guys. And we're going to go to one ways. Uh, the center diff and the front. The center diff and the front diff are both going to be replaced with one ways and the only differential that's going to be in the entire truck will be in the back because you need a back differential you got to have one just on a side note look how beautiful that is isn't that gorgeous oh god it's so sexy god you're beautiful all right so anyway that's my update for today we got some new tires coming in we got more parts coming in um, I wanted to buy a lot more stuff, but it looks like I'm having to buy a lawnmower. Yep, priorities. Oh, on a side note, look at the, the garage. I finally got it somewhat organized now. It's, it's looking good. We still got a little bit of ways to go, but, you know, not bad, not bad before though this thing was a mess i know you guys saw that get the shop a little bit organized it's not a hundred percent yet um as you can see i'm starting to get it all right got the whole back end torn off here's a little here's a secret you can't get this thing off, right? You're like, I got all the screws pulled out of it, but why won't it come off? All you gotta do is just give it a little tap on each side, that's it. And then look, see? It opened it right up. Just a couple little taps, and you should be able to pull that diff cover right off. So, if you bought any one of these vehicles, you're gonna get the same manual. So what I did is I put tabs on it, right? Makes life a lot easier. See that rear end, center diff, front, shocks, differential, body. So let's say I want something for the front. I just grab that front tab, pull it open, and boom, right there. That's all I need. So like a minute ago, I was looking at the rear end. I was trying to find something. So I just go to the rear end tab, which is like in the very back. Open that up. All right, open up rear tab. Perfect. So putting, putting these tab markers is a great idea. Definitely a pro tip call one ways. And basically what it is, it's a one-way locking differential. So it's just a piece of aluminum, basically, and it has a locker on it. So it only allows it to spin one way. And definitely would want one in the front, or yeah, definitely want one in the front, and you definitely want one in the middle. You still want to keep a train a differential in the back though definitely want a differential in the back uh, we're gonna go with a one way in the front and we also got to tear apart this too because we have we have upgraded parts that are coming for this section as well the top piece um, the brace on the back side that's plastic that needs to be aluminum and a couple other things that we got going on so hopefully we'll get We'll tear this apart because we have upgraded parts coming for this 
and that will be here soon. This we bought in carbon fiber. So we are also going to have to take this apart. So basically the truck's going to be tore apart for the next like month, basically. So because I got it all tore apart, I might as well, re you know, replace them as I go. Right. Due to upgrade. In the last video, guys, I talked about this. Um, I reached out to Amazon. They gave me my money back and I got to keep it. Yay. So what I did is I just went ahead and rebought it. So that way I'll have two batteries and two chargers and the adapter. I bought it. I found it on Amazon for like 10 bucks and I bought a couple of those just to help us out. Yep. So anyway, that's the update with that. So we'll have two of these sitting up here and that's what we'll use to charge our batteries until we buy the nicer, more advanced one on another day out of here thank you guys for watching i appreciate you and i'll see y'all in the next video y'all be cool